everyone it's Elizabeth from the Smart Stitcher here with a quick tutorial about how to do over sewing. The dark thread and the dark stitches you can see in front of you now are over sewing stitches. I've used a darker colour thread for this particular project and this particular demo because it's easy to see on the film itself. If I was doing this and I'm in this particular product on creating a chicken then I would look to use a thread that matched my fabric so the stitches aren't as obvious. This is a really good stitch to do if you're a beginner as it allows you to build confidence. So let's get underway. Here we have a similar looking shape and I have tucked my edges in and I have tacked them so that the edges are held together and they're not going to slide as I start my sewing. I'm going to just find where my machining has finished and I've started tacking there. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go right the way through both of those folds of fabric and I'm very, very sort of skimming the top of going through both of the folds. So I'm now going to pull my needle from the back to the front I'm going to pull my thread through and I'm going to leave a tail which I can then pinch hold of. So I've pinched hold of that tail and I'm now going to do several more stitches. This might be two stitches, it might be three stitches, but I want my thread to be secure. So I'm just going to repeat that process. It's almost like sort of running in the, running on the spot so that you're doing it in the same place. Now, if I give that a little tug, I can see that my thread is now secure and I can just snip off that end so it doesn't get in the way. So now we're back to doing our stitching. So my thread is secure, so I'm now going to move along two or three millimetres. I'm going to go right through the very top of the folds and I'm going to pull my thread through. I'm using about an arm's length of thread, enough to do what I want to do and allow for my finishing stitches and starting stitches as well. So I'm just going to work my way along, making small, consistently sized stitches if you can, and just keep repeating that process. So always coming through from the back to the front, move along, leave a small gap and you can see how those stitches look there. I would then repeat this all the way along to where the machining starts again and that's where I would do my finishing stitches which are three or four stitches in the same spot. When I've finished I can then cut my thread off nice and close to my fabric and my over sewing is done. <laughs> 